Welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today's episode is coming from Cuba, specifically the Botanical Gardens in San Fuegos. And the plants for today are Copernicia palms. This botanical garden has hundreds of palms collected from all over the world and they have been here for over a century. There are 27 known species of Copernicia located throughout the Greater Antilles in the Caribbean and parts of South America. This is for scale to give you some idea. There are about half a dozen varieties that have naturally hybridized. They prefer full sun but will tolerate light shade and with an ample amount of rain, although they will take several weeks if not months without rain so long as the soil is moisture retentive. They are extremely slow growing, particularly during the younger years. Copernicia macroglossa can take many decades to form a skirt this dense. They can make very dramatic plants in the landscape so long as you have the zone to support it. These are strictly a warm climate plant. Most of these Copernicia species prefer zone 10 and above. Zone 11 would be even better since they are such a slow growing palm. You don't want to retard their growth. They prefer temperatures above 40 or 45 degrees Fahrenheit or plus 5 to plus 7. There's only a couple of species that will survive let's say zone 9 in the deep south so long as it's a very brief cold spell. Copernicia species that can take cooler temperatures include Alba, Baleana, and Macroglossa. Many of these trees serve as nesting sites for the Cuban palm swift. The nests are built within the fronds which form the skirt. These birds rapidly fly around catching insects and they fly in and out between the dead fronds to feed their nestlings. Notice the length of the flower stalks. The flower stalks are well proud of the canopy and can reach quite a length. The flower stalks on Copernicia palms can be quite long and heavily branched, whereas in many other palm trees, the fruit and flowers are produced closer to the trunk. Some of these Copernicia palms can produce fronds that are about 10 feet wide or about 3 meters. The ones that do carry petioles are armed with very sharp teeth so be careful when handling or pruning. Copernicia macroglossa, sometimes called the petticoat palm. These palms have virtually no petioles, so as the old leaves die, they form a skirt, hence the name petticoat. This is to give you some idea of scale. These are extremely slow growing palms, and as they age, they form a skirt around the plant, and it takes many, many decades for a plant to reach a size this big. As always, thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And until next time, happy gardening.